Hi, Jonathan Perkins here, Bex Hybrids PFR location lead and PFR agronomist here in the fields of Effingham, Illinois. So we're out here with you today to talk a little bit about our water management project. And in this part of it, we're actually talking about some drip line. So with me today is Jim Hunt. Jim's with NetFM, and he's going to talk a little bit about what this system all entails. So the system here at Effingham, the, the dripper line is plowed in 13 inches deep. Normal production agriculture, depending on soil types and tillage practices, will go for anywhere from 10 to 14 inches deep. Um, the dripper lines here are on 30 inch spacings, so you, you plant your crop right over the top of them. And the system can deliver, um, actually this particular one, a little bit more than ET. Uh, normally in production agriculture for corn soybean crops, we're going to try to design the system to put out somewhere around three tenths of an inch of moisture a day. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it worked very well. And one of the things that we have too, you know, we have a part of this that is on 30 foot pattern tile. So one portion is 30 foot pattern tile with those drip lines over the top, like he said, on the 30 inch spacings. And then the other part is not tile drain. So one of the things about this area in our geography in Southern Illinois is that, you know, basically we have a clay pan that's under our topsoil layer. So about eight to 12 inches of topsoil, then we hit that clay pan. So we've got the tile down at 36 inches deep in one part of it. And we're looking at not only the irrigation side with the drip line here, but we're looking at that drainage side as well. And one of the things that we saw as we went through the early parts of the season, April 26, we planted this corn and right after that, we got chased out of the field by a storm system that came through. So the drainage side of it really showed a large advantage this year to us. And you know, the drip helped as well with the irrigation. One of the other parts of this is that we actually use the NetMaze app. And you know, that's through NetFM and basically that turned us when, told us when to turn on and off the water. Right, NetMaze uses uh, current local weather data to update evapotranspiration information and that way it gives you a recommended irrigation rate. It's a pretty handy app and could work with any irrigation system. Yeah, it definitely helped us out this season on knowing, you know, at that trigger point of when to kick that system on. So definitely, go ahead. I think it's interesting that, you know, this year you were talking about the yield deltas you got with the hybrids. And this is in a year when you had nearly ideal rainfall and you still saw a yield increase with the drip irrigation system. Yeah, so whenever the irrigation was actually installed, we were dry at that point, but the app told us later on when to kick on and off, and you're right, I mean, through July timeframe and into August, we didn't really need a whole lot because it did provide that for us. So just keeping up with evapotranspiration there, and definitely that app provided us some grounds to work with. So one of the things that we're excited about is continuing to work with this study moving on into the future. And I think it's got a lot of great potential based on what we saw this year. I think so too, and I'm interested to, and excited actually to see when you start potentially doing some fertility management through the drip system as well, because that's where we see the really significant yield gains in, uh, in the corn and soybean areas for sure. You know, stay tuned with us as we move forward and progress into next season and how this turns out then. Thank you.